Today we're going to be testing alien tape. I've got thousands of comments, DMs, emails from all, of, from tons of you guys wanting me to test alien tape. So here we are. Now alien tape is basically just a double-sided tape that is very expensive. $20 for three 10-foot rolls. So you're paying $20 for 30 feet of tape, which that's really not very much, especially for just a double-sided tape. But it does claim to do like, the alien tape has some crazy claims, pretty much. It claims to do like everything. It claims that it can stick pretty much anything to any surface. It claims somewhere on here, never use, never use screws or glue again. So they claim that it just can replace screws. It also says that it's waterproof, says it's reusable. They just have a bunch of wild claims that it can, that. They pretty much advertise this as like the fix-all and replacement for for everything that you want to use to stick something to something else. So let's get this open up, see what's going on in here. Okay. Really? They put a box in here for instructions. Really? They put a box for two tiny little pieces of paper. Why would you do that? Let's see what these instructions say. Okay, these instructions are pretty much just basic tape instructions. To reuse, wash strip of tape under running water, let air dry, and it's ready to be reused. We'll see about that. Oh, that sounds like French. I'll speak French. Let's see what else they say. Mm, nothing. So we got three rolls of alien tape. They're all in their own like little like little Ziploc bags, which is kind of cool. Oh. They both have like this weird like plastic on both sides. And the sides you can see how sticky the sides of it are. You can see just how sticky it is. Maybe this stuff is actually gonna be really strong. All right, let's start testing this stuff, see if it's any good. All right, so for our first test, I have a just kind of a makeshift wall here. Let's just try to stick a piece of wood to a piece of wood and see how, see how strong it is. Let's go something like this. We'll go with this much tape, however much that is, maybe like four or five inches. Oh, there's like a, oh, never mind. We'll, we'll cut that little piece off. All right, so now we're probably, probably four inches of tape or so on there. Just stick it to it. It holds it. That wasn't very strong. Let's really, really push it on there. See if we can really get it in there. Oh geez, it pulls the whole table over. This stuff is this stuff's really strong. That would that pulled that pulled some of the wood out of there. You see that? That pulled like pieces of wood off. So after after pulling it off, it's obviously not as sticky. I can tell it's still sticky. Let's put it like up here towards the top where I can. Kind of smash it on there. Oh. Okay, so as you would expect, after each use, it gets a little less sticky. Let's see if I can peel this off. See, see how hard it is to get off of something. Oh, this is actually, it's actually really nice. It's very, very, very stretchy. Jeez, look how far, how far this thing is stretching. Oh, it broke. Okay, so that's not bad. I mean, it put it on there, it held it on there, it held really good. It did pull some of the, the wood off of here. So if this was like a, a piece of drywall with paint on it, it probably would pull the paint off. But it did come off of this without a problem. But it, it does seem way stronger than what I anticipated. Next test, in the commercial they show that you don't need any type of hardware or anything to hang a shelf. So I have a shelf, 
I've put the nano tape from here to here, the entire length of the shelf. And in the commercial, they show that you can just put it on the shelf like this, peel it off, stick it to the wall, and then you're good to go. That's all you need to do. And it's supposed to be just as strong or stronger than the original mounting hardware. So what we're gonna do, I've, been, I've had this on here, I've been kind of pushing it down, try to give this the best chance possible. Peel off the, the backing. Oh, and I forgot to mention, I have weights down here. So we're gonna stick this to the shelf and then we're gonna add weights to it and see how, how much weight it can hold before it falls off. So I'm just gonna stick this thing right about there. Really gonna push it on there. Try to give it the best chance possible. Cause I really don't have very high hopes. All right, I feel like that's probably pretty good. That seems, seems to be pretty sturdy. So let's start off with some two and a half pound weights. There's one, two. I think I can see it kind of, kind of starting to bow down. Oh yeah. I can hear it. I don't think you can hear it, but I can, I can hear it slowly starting to rip itself away. So do I just like let it fall? Because if you put this amount of weight on the shelf and just let it sit here, eventually it would fall. I have a three, three pounder. Let's put that there. Oh yeah, that's definitely gonna do it. <laughs> Come on, go ahead and fall. I'll give it, it's very slow. All right, so that actually, that didn't hold that much weight. So that's kind of, Kind of depressing. So that was only 10 and a half pounds, and I mean, that's a long strip of tape. That's probably like 14 inches, probably, 12 to 14 inches, and it couldn't even hold 10 pounds. Probably five pounds might be the maximum that it could hold because it was starting to fall off before I put that final three pound on there. So I would say if you probably just put, if you like used tape to hang a shelf like this, and you just put five pounds on there, and then you just like let it sit, I think eventually it would it would eventually just fall off the wall. It's not very good at hanging shelves, and it's not doing that wood. Whenever I put the wood on there, it acted like it was extremely strong. But that right there, it was extremely weak. I want to take this off see if it damages the shelf. Well, that's actually not damaging the shelf at all. It's coming off pretty. Huh? It actually came off pretty nice. Didn't leave any residue. Didn't do nothing. All right, let's move it on. So I feel like that shelf test is a good way to test that claim that it, that the tape is reusable. You just wash it and then all of a sudden it's just good as new. So what I've done is I've taken a, a piece of tape that is the same size as the piece of tape that we had before, except for this one, I just had like, just drug it all over the garage floor and drug it through all the dirt and everything and got it to where now it's completely not sticky at all. And then I have, obviously I have a bucket of water here, so I'm gonna wash it off and then we'll put it back on the shelf and then we'll see, then we'll put those weights back on it and see if it even remotely holds close to what it did in the beginning. And I really don't think it's going to. And I think that after I wash it and reuse it, I think it's gonna be a huge letdown. I don't think it's gonna be very strong at all. So, see how easy dirt comes off of this thing? Oh wow, the dirt actually, actually is coming clean surprisingly easy. I would've thought the dirt would stick like really, really bad. And I'm gonna try my best to get every single speck of dirt off of here and give this thing the absolute best chance possible to work like it's supposed to. I just don't think that it's gonna do, do what it's supposed to do. All right, I think that's really, that is really good. I think there's one, one more little speck right there. So I'm gonna set this somewhere to dry and we'll see what happens. So while that tape is drying, I'm gonna tell you about the sponsor of today's video, Ridge Wallet. I'm sure a lot of you guys probably carry the same wallet you've carried for a long time. One of those big bulky leather wallets that is prone to collecting things that you don't need, like receipts, gift cards you're never gonna spend, 
all that kind of stuff. So that is where the Ridge wallet comes in. Ridge has pretty much revolutionized the wallet. They've made it small and sleek. It's the size of a credit card. It holds 12 credit cards and it's really easy to get your cards out with Ridge wallet. It also has a money clip on the back for your cash. It also comes in over 30 different styles. It has 30,000 five-star reviews and it also has a lifetime warranty. So it, you can buy this one wallet and carry it for life. If anything happens to it, you get a replacement. If you want to get one, but you're not sure if you're going to like it, you can buy one and then you can test drive it for 45 days. And then if you don't like it, you can send it back and get a full refund. If you're interested in one of these wallets, you can click the link in the top of my description. If you use code TylerTube at checkout, you get 10% off. So the tape is dry and I can tell you, it doesn't look very good. It doesn't feel even half as sticky as it was whenever it was new. So I'm actually, I'm gonna be very surprised if it even has enough stickiness left to even hold the shelf by itself to the wall, let alone with the weights. So we're gonna put this on here. I don't really have a good way to kind of like stick it down either. All right. You see? Let me let me hold it on here for a while. Put some put some pressure against it. Maybe it'll I don't know, maybe it'll do something. I can I can already hear it. Yeah, I don't like it can just barely hold itself up. So we got one one of the two and a half pound plates. <laughs> yeah, so that that's two and a half pounds. If I don't have I don't have a one pound I don't have anything that's one pound exactly, but I would guarantee that one pound would have just tore that off. And as you can see, I mean, there's just nothing left. It's like, it barely has enough to stick to my thumb. So this stuff, as, as far as being, as far as like being able to just rewash it and then just like use it again, if you want to be real technical, could you use this again? Technically, yes, you could use it again but you could use it again in the same way that you could also stick this thing to the wall with bubble gum. You can do it. It's just not gonna work. Just like this. You can use this. It's just not gonna work. So like if you wanted to just put this on a wall, like just put this on the wall and then just like have it there for decoration and then like watch it fall in 30 minutes. Sure, you could do that. As far as actually being functional and like being strong enough to hold something, no, you cannot reuse this stuff because once you wash it, it's just, it's pathetic. It has no strength left. So no, you cannot reuse it. Last test with the shelf. So I want to test it in a real, real world application on a painted wall with, uh, on a painted drywall surface. So obviously I got the shelf, I got the tape. I'm curious to see if this is going to like, like rip all the paint off. Is it going to rip a big hole in the drywall? Just like, what's it going to do? So let's go ahead and stick it to the wall. Oh, all right, now let's try to, try to peel it off. Okay, so far. All right, so the shelf came off the wall. Oh, I don't know how well you can see it. It is ripping the paint off, or it's trying to anyway. It's like make it, it's made it like bolt up. Come on. I feel like we got out of that pretty lucky, but it also wasn't on there for very long. But you can see, I don't know if I'll, I'll bring you in close, but right through here, you can see the you can see two little paint bubbles where it was starting to try to pull the paint off. Right here and right here where the bubbles are. Now it didn't rip the paint off, but I was also trying to be as careful as possible. But I have a very strong feeling that if this, if that was left on there for a long period of time, like maybe a week or so, and then you just kind of like went real fast or it maybe even going slow, that would definitely have ripped the paint off. Keep in mind that if you put it on a painted surface, it will rip the paint off. All right, so the next thing they show in the commercial <clears throat> is they show a, like a rug, like I am here, I have a rug in a hallway. So they show that you can put the alien tape on the corners 
of the rug and then stick it to the floor to keep it from like, like rolling up or whatever whenever people walk on it. So I'm just gonna take some of the tape and just stick it on these corners and stick it on the back corners. And then I'm gonna try to like get, get it to scoot and just see, see if it'll move or see what happens. It doesn't seem to wanna stick to fabric very well. And then we're gonna do the same thing for the back side. Well, that seems to that seems to work pretty good. Let's see if I can. No, it's not moving at all. That is solid. So now that we know that it'll help your rug stick to the floor, how easily will it peel off? And will it damage the floor whenever you peel it off? All right, let's start peeling this thing off. See, see how easy it comes off. Oh, look at that. That just comes off. Oh, this one. This one seems like it's gonna be a little stuck. Oh, look at that. And it doesn't really stick too bad to the, to the bottom of the rug. I thought I really thought that maybe either the bottom of this would like peel off and get stuck to the top of it where it's so sticky or that it would like try to peel up the floor or like rip off the finish off the floor but no that is actually perfect that's exactly what what you want another claim that they make in the commercial is that they take like a rack and they uh, use the alien tape to stick it in the shower and they say that you can like, put it add a shelf to your shower and this and that and whatever so what I've done is I've just I've 3D printed like a little shelf. It's just it's just basically a little like a uh, like a little soap holder or a little soap dish. I 3D printed that, and then I put a piece of the alien tape on the back. Stick that right there. I really, really do not think that this is gonna hold up in here, especially with water and steam and the heat. I think it's just gonna fall off, and then I think the weight of the soap is gonna make it fall off. What I'm gonna do is I'm going to Run, let the shower run for, I'm gonna let it, let it run really hot, so it gets really hot and steamy in here. I'm gonna let it run for 30 minutes and then see how the steam and the heat affects this and see if it makes it fall. Well, you can see it got plenty steamy in here. And that is still there, surprisingly. It's actually, Really secure too. Let's see if we can get this off of here. Oh, look at that. Huh. Well, I guess it can be used in the shower. All right, so final thoughts on alien tape. My, my honest opinion about alien tape after doing all those tests, I think that it is overpriced for what it is. Like the fact that they claim that it is reusable. They say you can just wash it and reuse it like it's nothing. That is just a complete bold faced lie. You absolutely cannot reuse this stuff. You can wash it off. You can, there's not, once you wash, once you use it and you wash it off and then you try to use it again, there's nothing you can do with it. You can't, I don't even think you could stick a piece of paper to the wall and have it hold up after you wash it. So that is just a complete lie. Secondly, there's nothing you can do with it that's like heavy duty, not, not even heavy duty, just like medium duty, like so, like the shelf test that we did. You can't, it, it doesn't hold hardly any weight. There's not, you can't, if, like, if you wanted to say, like if you wanted to like hang something from the ceiling, you couldn't do it because it's gonna fall. If you're gonna hang something that has a little bit of weight to it on the wall, it's more than likely gonna fall. There's just, it's not, you can't, you can't really use it for a whole lot. But on the flip side, there are some things that I think it would be really good for. The rug, whenever we, whenever I put it under the rug and see if it would keep the rug from moving, it worked perfect for that. And I think that in that type of application, I think that it would hold up for a long time, like underneath a rug holding it still. I think it would be very good at that. Or if you had like a, say a really lightweight picture that you wanted to put on the wall, and since it'll rip the paint off, you wanted you didn't want to move it, you wanted to put it there and leave it there, I think it would be really good at that. And also, if you had like a small lightweight shelf, something that you wanted to put in the shower to hold like a bar of soap or 
something that with similar weight to a bar of soap. I think it would be good at that. I, I was kind of surprised that it didn't fall in the shower. I really thought it would have, especially being like hot and steamy and all that. But even, even after all that, all the, the moisture and the steam and the heat, it still was pretty, it was still pretty stuck to the sidewall pretty good. So I think maybe all that heat might have like helped it to stick a little bit more rather than like weakening it. But I would almost 100% guarantee if you had like a big rack and you tried to use it to stick that rack inside of the shower and you had like multiple shampoo bottles and a lot of weight in there, I think it would fall. All the other tests show it just doesn't, it's not good at holding up weight. With all that being said, I think it's just overpriced for what it is because you're paying $20 for 30 feet. And that is just, outrageous for what you're getting. The only way I would ever buy this stuff for like something that like that I was gonna use for personal use is if I didn't have any other option. Like if I went to the store, everything was sold out, I had to get something done and this was the only thing there, then I would buy it. This would not be my first choice. I would probably be looking at some other type of double-sided tape, some type of glue, something along those lines. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching. If there's anything else that you want to see me test, leave a comment down below, and I'll see you in the next one.